So as a mechanical engineer, you know, I've really pushed back against the label of thinking of mechanical engineers as sort of people who just build cars and rockets from metals and polymers and ceramics. I'm really interested in thinking about how engineers um, can learn how to build with biology and learn how to build with living cells, which is a field that we call biofabrication. Um, and it's been gaining a lot of traction in recent years. And my lab at MIT specifically focuses on how we can build living functional materials and machines um, with our first kind of area of application being building actuators powered by neurons and skeletal muscle that can teach us more about how we move around and navigate the world and also teach us how to build better robots that can move as well. So one of the reasons that my lab focuses on muscle is because it is an area of research that has so much impact on a variety of different fields, ranging from medicine to agriculture to robotics. So for example, you know, the big thing that our lab in the field is working on right now is thinking about whether we can create these millimeter scale models of skeletal muscle in the lab that is innervated or essentially controlled by the motor neurons that typically sit in our spinal cords, as well as the sensory neurons that kind of tell us, you know, how much are we stretching and how can we move and change and respond to dynamic changes in our environment. If we could recreate these kinds of systems in the lab, medical applications could include understanding disease or trauma that happens um, you know, in different kind of scenarios in the real world and how we could develop new cures that restore mobility to people who have lost it. Um, there's also some interesting other avenues of research. So if you could make meat in the lab, large volumes of meat, um, you wouldn't have to you know, farm an animal and sacrifice it and waste sort of everything around the meat. You could just build meat from scratch um, using cells without having to sacrifice an animal. So it could have a really big impact on agriculture. Um, and the other application that we're really interested in is robotics. So thinking about the best robots that are out there, um, you know, they're really cool. Maybe they can move and walk and jump around a little bit, but they're very far from being able to reproduce the kinds of motions that we can generate. Um, so if we could power robots using muscle that we make in the lab instead, that could potentially make robots that are more dynamically responsive to their surroundings. So that's kind of an overall view of the research that we do.